Good morning. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. Listen, uh, Dutch. <clears throat> Can I talk to you a minute? What is it? I think you misunderstood me earlier. I ain't trying to rob you. You know me better than that. <laughs> Try to speak some sense to him, cowboy. What are you trying to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. I'm... I'll think about it. Thank you. Here, I'll do whatever you say. Always. This sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly!
Arthur. Are you busy, Arthur? Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Hey, friend. Good morning, mister. Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. We're never gonna get there at this rate. Look everything I had. That son of horse. 
I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? <laughs> Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. Not only thinking this hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stash somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to send the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna... Drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Second, you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal. In, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. 
<laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. And not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite that. This place is imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, hold on here till it gets down. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys do you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. Well, burn quietly. <laughs> 